Hearts. And we're going to be talking about how to improve mood and behavior naturally. And this is a topic hitting everybody. So, Terry, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing parents that are suffering themselves with anxiety and depression. And so they don't even have the energy to deal with their kids. And then they put the kids on the medication because they don't know what to do. And the feedback I'm getting from the teachers are that these kids have no coping skills. There's, there's no tools that are given to them. And there's so many threats that are coming in at us. We've got the social media and addiction. We've got the spike protein. We've got the toxicity. We've got Bill, Bill Gates taking over the farmlands and, and the food supply. I mean, we're talking about the healthy foods that are not so healthy anymore. So many things to cover in such little time with you. So where do we start, Terry? Wow. Well, it is quite a topic. And uh, right before we went on air, Sarah, I was sharing with you that the client right before this broadcast is a client whose uh, son has been hospitalized for three weeks with a mood disorder because he was significantly violent at home. It, it actually, he now has a police record. Now he's 14 years old. And this child, which every medical professional has missed is suffering from PANDAS. This is pediatric autoimmune psychiatric disorder where these kids become homicidal or suicidal. So yes, this has become epidemic. The pandemic has ripped away our socialization skills, our ability to be in community, our, our family construct, what we're now in more insular, I don't know how we're going to come back to being back in full community. So let's try to dissect this on so many levels. We've got the spike protein that turns on all sorts of pathogens. Now we know it's clinically shown that turns on Epstein-Barr. It's reigniting Lyme. Lyme has been tied to pandas. Uh, it's, it's dysregulating insulin, insulin and turning on the histamine response. So let's just break those down even further. All right starting with reactivation of viral loads, uh, in particular, Epstein-Barr, varicella, and the herpes family of viruses. When that happens, it hits the pituitary, which is our air traffic control for neurotransmitters. It hits the thyroid. So metabolically, we're really tired. It hits neurologically, so it can make us very anxious. It's been linked to uh, a lot of mood disorders. Then we have the issue with the histamine response, it's turning on the histamine receptor gene. That makes us anxious. It makes us ADHD. It makes us uh, manic in the sense that the histamine response will then turn on other pathogens of strep and candida that dysregulate serotonin and dopamine. So the spike protein alone has had massive downstream impacts. These kids are hypoglycemic. They're high in histamine. They're carrying around strep and candida. And by the way, strep is rampant now with this latest variant. Strep, strep in particular is linked to pediatric autoimmune psychiatric disorder. And then we have the, the, again, the tearing of the fabric of the social construct. All right, so how do we untangle all of that? The very first thing is we have to get kids out of their computer programs and back to reading a book, back to going outside, because if you don't calm the body first, none of this traje the trajectory for getting all this balance is going to be a lot more difficult. Yeah. I understand that parents are exhausted and don't have the bandwidth themselves, but even spending five minutes outside with your child, sitting on the grass, touching a real leaf, going where it, wherever you live in your, whatever you are in the country, if you're living in a rural area, go look at the cows. You know, if you're living by the water, go put your feet in the sand. If you're living in the mountains, go sit on some rocks, go collect rocks, go collect things that come from nature. The way that we're going to get out of it is we got to get back to living as nature intended. And that is turning down the volume on our nervous system response, first and foremost. It's um, so true. But 
how do you really do that, Terry? I mean, how do you really tell your kid who is addicted to social media? And by the way, you are as well, because most adults are looking at it, right? And we were during the pandemic, we were all isolated at home and we had free content on our computers and our devices, porn, gambling, um, you know, and the social media, let alone the fact that the alcohol and the sugar and processed foods are right in the room next to me instead of I'm at an office and I brought my sack lunch or I'm going to have my one meal out but you've got all of these things and the dopamine has lowered, you know, our, our dopamine is totally dysregulated, which gets dysregulated again with the processed foods Absolutely. and processed foods. I was having this conversation with a mom. Thank God my kids are old and, and I don't have to worry about this as much. But when you've got elementary school kids and they're going to, to school and birthdays every week and cupcakes and processed foods that you don't have control over, um, how, how, and that's normal, right? So right. these are, these are the normal things that are coming at us. And I can tell you, my kids were not normal and they were ostracized to some extent because they were eating healthier food and it was actually just real food, you know, where the processed food isn't real food. So there's all of these things, but what I'm hoping that people understand going forward is that you don't want to be normal. You don't want to fit in that box because you're going to quickly have disease mentally, physically, emotionally. And I've dealt with my three children all have had ups and downs emotionally and mood issues. And they are wonderful, stable kids, right? So they shouldn't be the kids with mood disorders, but they did. And they've created a way to get out of it because they got coping skills and they connected the dots with food and supplements and what um and and that impact body mind and spirit and how they're all connected and i i, I mean the wild thing the you know the wild meats I, what the one thing that has been great with the pandemic is that there are so many more ranches around the country that are delivering right to your doorstep. And I had um, Sean Grace on my show from North Star Bison. And if you saw the packaging that delivers on your door, you go, oh my gosh, was this shipping like $300 because it's so professionally done and the food's phenomenal. Um, so those types of things are there. The healthier foods are out there. You just have to look and be a little more proactive 